When you go to the model section of the SPACI documentation, you will find a list of languages mentioned here under the trained pipelines section. These are all the languages that SPACI provides a pre-trained pipeline for, and you can explore it in more detail by clicking a language of interest. I'm checking Dutch at the moment. Uh, and you can see here that for Dutch, we have a small, medium, and large model. And on the side here, you can also see this uh, table that gives me just a little bit more information. So I can see that the small Dutch model is 16 megabytes big. Uh, we have some components in the pipeline. And I can also just learn a little bit more about the data that this model was trained on, which I would argue is very useful information to uh, just check, uh, especially if you're using one such model in production. Now, this page might give you the impression that these are the only languages that Spacey has support for. Um, and that's not accurate. These are the models for which Spacey provides a pre-trained pipeline, but that's not to say that these are the only languages that are supported. To learn more about all the languages that Spacey supports, you can go to the usage section over here. And from here, you can go to the models and languages bit. On this page, you will find a very large table that lists all the languages that Spacey currently supports. In this table, you'll find a language name together with a two-letter code, as well as potentially links to some pre-trained pipelines. But when you scroll down, you'll notice that at some point, there are going to be languages for which we don't have a pre-trained pipeline, but we definitely do have a listing. Now, for all of these languages, Spacey doesn't provide a pre-trained pipeline, but it does provide a tokenizer. And that's enough for you to train your own pipelines for a specific language. And you can also directly use the tokenizers for all of these languages, but you do have to load them a little bit differently than what you might be used to. I'm inside of Jupyter now. I'm loading Spacey. And here is the common load command that you might be used to. I'm referring to the small English model with pre-trained pipelines here. But what I can also do is refer to the just the blank English model instead. Now this blank model is basically just a spacey pipeline, but it only comes with a tokenizer. So just to showcase, I am able to get separate tokens out as I pass a bit of text to this NLP model, but this model only contains a tokenizer. And the main thing that I need to remember is that I pass in the correct two letter code here to refer to the language that I'm interested in. And again, that two-letter code can be found in the table on the Spacey documentation. There are a few details worth mentioning, though. If you scroll to the bottom of this table, you will notice that we have this extra section mentioning some dependencies. Some of the tokenizers require an extra Python package to be around. So for example, if you're interested in using the Thai tokenizer, you will need to have the PyTai NLP package installed. Another thing that's also worth mentioning is that the list of languages that we currently have on the documentation page here might change. Spacey is an evolving project, and odds are that we're going to get more and more community support for more and more languages. And that means that we are likely going to have more tokenizers, but we're also likely going to have more pre-trained pipelines available for more languages as well. Finally, it's also good to mention that you are also able to build your own tokenizer for your own language. So that's also an option if that's something you're considering.